Hello, welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics as if you have never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. I have not done an omelet before, but we're gonna do one right now. I'm just gonna do a basic ham and cheese. I have a couple thin slices of ham here. They're folded in half. And then I'm just gonna give it like a little roll. It doesn't really matter. You could use cubed, um, chunked up ham. You could use bacon. You could use anything you want. You can literally put anything you want in an omelet. Omelets are so versatile in this way. Um, this just makes it into like little strips, little ribbons, okay? So if you're doing meats, I would saute them first so that you can get a little bit of oil in the pan before you add onions, peppers, mushrooms, like whatever those things are, okay? Because the ham or bacon or ground beef or turkey or sausage or whatever you're gonna put in there, it's gonna let out a little bit of oil when you cook it in the pan. So I know I'm gonna get the question, well, what if I'm not using any meat? Great question. If you're just using veg, then put a little butter or a little oil of your choice, olive oil, coconut oil, like whatever's your favorite in there just a smidge just so that you can get your veggies sauteed up nice i put two cracked two eggs in here i'm gonna put just a little splash of milk you could use water you can use alternative milk you can leave it out it doesn't matter i find that eggs are fluffier if you don't skip this step i use whole milk because it has delicious flavor and fat in it and all skim milk is you know watered down whole milk right so i don't need the extra water i like whole milk so I'm gonna beat these two eggs. Now, if you're making a huge batch of omelets or a big pan of omelets or omelets for more people, or you're gonna make multiple omelets, you can mix up this part, the eggs part, and then you just saute what's in there, pour the eggs on top. You could pre-do a big batch of the eggs and pour just enough to coat the pan for each omelet, right? You don't have to measure that it's exactly two eggs or any of that. Like my to be seasoned, so I'm going to do a little pepper and just a smidge of salt because my ham and my cheese is going to be salty, so not too much salt, okay? All right, now let's go to the stove. Beautiful sizzle. So I'm just going to sizzle up my ham in the pan and get it a little brown, warm it up because it was cold in the refrigerator. Could have diced it smaller for sure, but I don't know, good for me. Now, if you're doing veg, like I said, you're gonna put a little butter, a little oil, a little something in this pan, and you're just gonna saute up your veg just for a minute or two until it gets soft and it gets warmed through and, you know, it gets a little bit of flavor on it, right? If you're doing, um, we season our eggs, so you don't have to season the veggies, but you certainly could. You know what's great in an omelet is red peppers. Oh, my husband loves that. You could certainly saute up some red peppers here if you wanted to, but again, you don't have to. I'm not, I'm just gonna saute up this ham until it gets warm through. Okay, this pan, this is a really small seven inch pan, is on medium heat on my small burner, okay? medium maybe medium low you can saute up your veggies warmer but once you put in the eggs in here medium is certainly going to be warm enough because you don't want your eggs to get like browned that's not the idea and there's a lot of different types of omelet this is just sort of like your omelet you would get at an omelet station this is not like a french omelet all right we'll see how talented i am one-handed all right now we're going to pour our egg mixture in over top of our meat or veg or whatever you have sauteing in here. Lovely. Okay. And we're just gonna use our spatula and we're gonna pull it away a little from the pan. If you don't get good pan coverage, what you'll see a lot of people do is this, where you like roll the pan around. Now, as you can see in my small pan, I got perfectly good pan coverage, so I didn't need to do that. I was just showing you. This is a challenge to do one-handed here. All right, so I'm gonna pull my eggs through here to the middle where they're getting cooked, okay? And then I'm going to do that motion that I showed you just to get all this loose egg into all those crevices, right? Beautiful, beautiful. Let's just spread it out, make sure it's getting cooked. 
Okay, schmanciness would pull this from the sides and flip it. I, I, I cannot flip it. I never flip it. So I'm just going to show you what I do. Ugh, I couldn't do it one-handed. <laughs> okay, I flipped it over. I just went around the edges with my spatula like this, and then I flipped it over just to get that other side to get a little bit cooked. Now, you may like your eggs, <clears throat> excuse me, to be more mm, liquidy right? Or you might like them to be more firm. I like them somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to close up my omelet now. See it like that? Because I don't want it to get more cooked. This is as cooked as I want it to be. I almost forgot to add the cheese. Oh no. Flip her back open. So once you've flipped it over, this is a little chaotic, then you're going to sprinkle it with the cheese. I'm doing a little Parmesan because that's what I've got. Um, you do a little sprinkle of cheese and then you fold it closed, your little omelet. Wacha. And that's going to melt your cheese on the inside. Probably could have used an extra minute because, you know, I was trying to film for you and I didn't do a very good job. I apologize. Because that was such a struggle, <laughs> we're going to do it again. We're going to do just a cheese one just to show you. Stand over so that I can use both hands. So this is just the egg mixture, salt and pepper. And I just have a little butter in the pan instead of uh, the ham. I'm just gonna make a cheese one to show you. So, put the eggs in. Yes, just proof that I'm a mom and not a chef is it's not perfect, right? I never do anything perfect, by the way. So basically what we have here is just a soft scramble, okay? And the only difference would be if you're making an omelet is that you would have your chopped veggies or your chopped meat or whatever that you're adding to your omelet already down here in the bottom of the pan when you pour your egg mixture on, right? And I just toss it around a little and let it get um, cooked, right? But you want it to cook on that one side. You can see it's still pretty liquidy, right? It hasn't like come together yet. Leave it alone, it starts to set up and become, you know, an omelet, right? Like a something you could flip over, right? So chefs would, you know, flip the pan. I'm not that good at it. I always drop it. So I just use the spatula to flip it over like that. Okay. Beautiful. Now you've got your partially mostly cooked side on the top side and your undercooked side on the bottom side. And then this is the part where you would add the cheese. So again, I'm just going to put a little Parmesan because that's what I got. Not too much. Although it's cheese, right? right can never have too much cheese I'm just gonna let that sit in the pan for you know a minute until you start to see the cheese just start to get a little bit melted or a little bit warm parm is probably like pretty slow on the list of things to melt and it doesn't have to be completely melted because we are going to close it i don't want it to get overcooked so i'm going to close it up and voila omelet even though it was a disaster I bet you they're going to taste delicious, and they turned out looking delicious. So let's give the ham one a taste for sure. Because that was the one I was trying to make for myself in the first place. Beautiful, fluffy. Mm. Wow. Really delicious. Ham and parm works together. It wasn't perfect, but it's delicious.